We did this yesterday, too. I can't even see you. You move around too much when you lay on my lap, so... You can't stay here. Hmm? You're gonna be here, at least say hi to stream. suppressor on it so you can't hear anything all right let's get back into this i'm gonna try not to rage too much but i can't make any promises <laughs> oh man i mean i guess i know more of what to expect so hopefully i won't be too bad but i hope i don't have to do this whole area over again Do I have to do this all? I do have to do this all over again. Alright. Another game. Another game. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. Break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. I don't know why I had to walk through a bunch of gates. I had a cat hair on my mouth. Which ravens? Well, can't you see which ravens? The found which you try to find. Line up the ravens. I <laughs> didn't even notice it. Uh, uh, sound design is fucking amazing. journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off the 
berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become gout in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the Perjagas. Those who make it back are forever changed. <clears throat> she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. I hope this doesn't break my stream again. Please, game. Please, game. Please, I would like to not have to restart <laughs> again. This is a cool premise though for these levels. You have to like look through the gates to, to find all the like hidden paths and stuff because there's illusions and everything. Thanks, Jason. I did it! It was a lot easier the second time around. Because <laughs> I was in the middle of coming back to finish the puzzle when everything crashed yesterday, so... You can do it! Cut his freaking head off! Alright, we probably got more fucking combat right after this. Oh, I need to be more in frame. I know, right? We picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. I, I know how to evade now. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. You've been obsessing over it all day, Jason. <laughs> nice. It's like, it's so fucking difficult to not 
be put in a fucking corner because of the way she fucking moves, like... Because, like, she, you can't, like, turn and, like, run and get out or whatever. She just, like, kind of, like, fucking walks slowly. It's so annoying. literally hitting fucking evade that whole time like the combat in this kind of fucking sucks honestly it's so fucking annoying i literally already failed about at not getting angry <laughs> no i mean like the only way to get up is if i'm like just like hit spamming one of the buttons I guess but there's no avoid death button like you just have to watch that fucking cutscene and then die because you can't do fucking anything <laughs> so fucking irritating behind you no and then you can't like I'm trying to like switch the fucking enemies and it won't let me fucking switch like Invade, you stupid bitch! Oh my fucking god, dude! Ow! Oh god, this is so fucking dumb! Like, you can't even, like, turn to the fucking person that you want to turn to, because I wanted to hit- do the other guy first because obviously he's fucking weaker, but then it, she doesn't even fucking turn around. Thanks for the subs. I'm not really happy right now. The get this fucking- the combat system in this game, honestly- She's dying! Oh my god. Are 
haven't even seen reviews. So they said those there is. Yeah, I read that too, and I was like, how bad can it be? Apparently, really fucking bad. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, is this where I came in? This is where I came in. Why, am, why did I go back this way? Oh my god. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Yeah, I mean, obviously I get a little lost too, but the nice thing is that this is, it's not open world. It's a fairly linear path, so it's just like, oh, I literally crawled under that piece of wood to get in here before, so I have to, you know, so I was like, oh wait, I already went this way. Um, that's like kind of the only reason. Jason, <laughs> oh, oh, mini map, yeah. I, I guess, yeah, I don't usually play, like, a ton of games with maps. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? I mean, Resident Evil um, had one, but... Loved ones. To head deep into the wilds. Perhaps never to return. There's a gate up there. Senua does. And there's more puzzles. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. It's a lot of pieces. I love how one of the voices speaks for it. Yeah. Because it's like her voice, but it's also not her voice. <laughs> this reminds her of somewhere. The forest. But where? Which forest? The forest in the wilds. The wilds. She left the milk. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wild? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came There's a thingy here. And marry Dillian. But she it didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. The 
I know. I'm like, this one is definitely confusing. <laughs> through these gates to like half where the it's ravens are. Out in the wilds. In the cold winter woods. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. Resolved to find out and kill that which had become a part of her. Okay. Um, of course, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, there's a bridge now. Sweet. That other one didn't do anything, so maybe it just didn't like trigger in time or something. I still can't believe that I was <laughs> literally in that first puzzle room for like five minutes and the fucking thing didn't even like trigger even though I looked through it like three times. Oh, that's what that gate is for. I see. I was like, what, what does this gate do? Because it didn't look like it did anything. And I feel like sometimes they don't do anything. There we go. Now it's complete. All right. So I had the right idea. It just didn't work. Hello, Blaze. Uh, rage. Just kidding. <laughs> I have to, like, go back and go down. There we go. Yeah. I already had a combat and raged a lot, so. <laughs> oh, the combat does not get any easier. In fact, it gets even harder and more bullshit. <laughs> you know, the shield thing just fucking sucks, dude. Come on, do you? Oh, there's a thingy over here. I guess we'll go listen to this first. Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Hmm. 
interesting. Old, like, uh, legends about gods and stuff are fucking wild. It's just like, how did people come up with this? Because <laughs> they're real. Okay. <laughs> I could have sworn this was supposed to do something. Is it this way that does something? No? It's not doing fucking anything? I did that one. No, I'm running toilet. <laughs> you met crazy stories. No way to go. This is the way I came. He's not doing anything. I'm sure it's supposed to, like, get rid of some of this wall or something, but it's not fucking doing anything. God, that's... <sighs> What's the point? It's not... Can't fucking do anything. Or if it's just not going to. I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna run back here and then be like, hey, I still can't get in and go back. And then it's gonna fucking work for some reason. Even though I literally already did it. And it's not working. Supposed to get that tree, I'm assuming, but and that gate or whatever. It's not lit it's literally not doing it. Yeah, but I need to get up to the top of that one, that, like, wall. I, so I have to get in there. But I can't get in there, and this fucking gate isn't working to, like, open up some shit for me to get in there. Because that's literally what it's fucking for, and it's not working. Like, what the fuck, dude? Am I might, like... Am I supposed to do something here? Like... I'm seeing the echo in the direction they need to use. Well, yeah, but it's just like, there's still, like, there's still too many, and I'm, I need to get, like, to the top of this. Because I think there's another one up there that'll, like, lessen the amount of runes again. That I use, but, like... I literally can't fucking get up there now. Nothing over there, I guess. Ah, no. I this bridge again. It's like, I feel like I should be able to just crawl in through there, but it won't let me. over here. No. 
Cause see, there's a gate up there, and I need to get up there. The E? No, I I have to get up here because I have to lessen more of these blue rune things or whatever. Cause like there, a lot of them are like illusions and stuff. So I have to get up there. And the way I did this was I looked through this gate earlier because I need to get up there, but then the wall was gone. So then now the wall is there, but I can't get in there now. So I'm like, I'm stuck because the thing that I was trying to do, because there's a gate over by the other wall, but now I can't get in there. Like, like this one. I don't know what the fuck this one's supposed to do. Because this one didn't do anything. Because I think it's supposed to make this bridge, but again, it's not doing shit. <laughs> and I already went through it like five times. Don't want to go through that one because I need that bridge. The only logical thing is this other one. But this other gate doesn't fucking work. So I don't know what to do now. Literally not doing anything. It's just here. Doing absolutely jack shit. Cause like I've already gone through these like so many times. Like, can you fucking work, please? This is so irritating. Like, what am I supposed to do? I literally can't do anything. There's no way for me to get up there. Like, I can't climb here. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing over here that I can interact with. Cause I keep looking through this and I'm like, is something changing? No, it's not. Nothing is changing. Cause it's also the way I came. Like it's supposed to like do something over here, but it's literally not. Or it should be doing something over here, but it's not. So I don't know what the fuck to do with this now because it's like, yeah, and it, but it's like, I've literally- I'm literally where I'm supposed to be because I can't get in anywhere else. Like, there's no... I, like, glitched up here for a second, but that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I've been I've been hitting F on everything. Like I tried to climb in that fu like she can fit through that fucking gap, but it won't let me. Yeah, I think so. Just make people so fucking mad that they just stop playing. Literally can't fucking do anything. My pinky's already cramping up again. Like, 
What am I supposed to fucking do here? I can't fucking do anything. I don't want to get rid of this wall, because otherwise I literally can't get to that. The only way I can get up there. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't do anything. I have to line up the blue things up there. Because I already did that. I went up to the door first to get the rune. I already could, Jason. <laughs> I already did all that, Jason. <laughs> the rune doesn't matter right now because I have to get up to a vantage point where I can use it on these blue things. But I have- hey, sound person, how's it going? But I can't use it on the blue things because I have to line it up with the door and I have to get up to the high part of there to use it on the door. And I can't. Because I did that one already over there. No, th I mean, there's nothing to open up. The only thing is, like, just going through those gates and hoping it'll fucking trigger a change. I mean, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna just see if there's another way I can go in there. If I can get up there. Is there any other way to get in there? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, this is just a secret thing. So this doesn't matter either. This is just a, a secret story thing. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Okay, so that literally didn't do anything. Like, I, I can't go up here. I can't... can't go up this way. I can't go up this way, because I need to get up there. Water in some way? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I can't, like, fucking click on shit in this game. Because, like, I need this up here to cross over there. That gate puts the wall here, but then I can't get in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I have to open the door from the inside? Am I a fucking idiot? I am. God fucking damn it, this is so annoying. <sighs> I just had to open this. God damn it. Okay, I figured it out. I was just like, how do I get that door to unlock? I just have to go unlock it. <laughs> I was thinking too complicated. There we go, now we got a wall. Uh, 
I was just like, oh, all the gates will open up all these secret paths, so it has to be super fucking complicated, and it wasn't. <laughs> it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow. The smallest hints of shape, <laughs> sound. Yeah, thought, part of me is just kind of like, I wish I had watched someone else play it first. <laughs> consumed her whole. Not that I would have really understood what was going on. The darkness had her in its claws. no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to Oh, I did it. Alright. <laughs> yet. So I think, her. I'm assuming this is the last I gate time. before the boss battle. Only so now I'm gonna die a bunch in the boss battle. Will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Please don't tell me there's another combat before I do the fucking combat. <sighs> Lag. Overcome Character design? I know, yeah, she looks really cool. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Don't Senua, try anything too important. I'll try. Listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northmen captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they yeah. took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Finden 
never set eyes on his dear sister again. I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. The stories are really cool, but at the same time, I'm so focused on figuring out what the hell is going on that I, like, can't focus on... ...what they- what- what he's saying. Okay, now I'm missing something. this is funny. Oh wait, I think I have to do that again. Because it gets rid of stuff, I'm assuming. That's why the bridge is there. Yeah. Don't break. <laughs> I don't want to do all this shit over again. Broke the gate is open. It's open. Back for me. I'm still here. Are you too? Where are we? I remember. didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, struck by a lava, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper. Driving you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Help. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. What is that? Focus. Focus. I see you. I see you now. You let me to the wilds. You trapped me there!
come on, that's not fair. Fine. Come on. Get the fuck up. No. Uh. and boss fight. Die! Woohoo! I got close. The mark of Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to hell. Getting a little better at the combat. Hold it in your mind's eye. Hey, did you? You didn't miss all of it, did With you, Jason? With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair. Isn't it's almost it? That's good. In I was like, oh, we're in boss fight. <laughs> Hopefully Jason doesn't miss it. There were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. Druth sounds like a bad dude. Maybe Loki? Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, Druth is like, um, he was the spirit from the first area, and he's the one, like, telling us all the stories and stuff, so I don't know. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And then she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. Maybe, yeah, could be. Maybe he's like Mountains. the one who took Caves. her lover's soul or whatever. And 
just like pretending to, to help her. Just to get her somewhere or something. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guard you. Did you There's see a her? face in the waterfall that in the last mother. area. I never should have gone up to it. She was a priestess. <laughs> She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time of physical darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the forest. Like she's still watching over. It goes she misses her so much. I think it's cool that we have to go back the way we came. It's a little tedious, obviously, because in video games we're like, we just want to get to the next area. But it's cool because, like, in the reality of, like, this story, she would have to literally traverse back to get back to where the, the gate of hell, uh, hell is. Like, she would have to go back the way she came, so. It's really cool, but. Oh, great. More fucking boss fight, right? The mark of Raven and the mark of combat. You may cross the bridge over the river sure, so. of knives yeah, to Helheim. Yeah. Yeah. I can go in now. All the extra voices are really cool, actually. It's so dark, it's dark, the dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into the hell of Ravenwood. Thanks to the flashback, because she doesn't have the paint and stuff on her. Or something. Or it's in her mind. Truth? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. Deep breath. Or My deep voice. Time. <laughs> I literally just said deep breath. You see what they did to your dear beloved. <sighs> Don't flash back, I guess. For a village. Damien! Oh. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears to smother your fury and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? Now that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul to 
to these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. So I guess they're rhyming on purpose. You fought for love unspoiled by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. So I guess it's like a raid, their village got raided or something. No! 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 They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. I'm assuming that's like a voice changer, but also some people's voices are just that deep, so. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. They should just and make this into a movie. To surrender, <laughs> abandon him to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Oh shit. Alright. Big bad, all right. Ooh, music. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Come here first, douche. Why are they fucking acting like they're in Gladiator? Like... What? Shield guy. Alright. Hell yeah, with this music. They should have this in all uh, combats. <laughs> Come here, you fuck.
Ghost there. I'm glad that it makes it a little e that you can like stop and kind of just beat up a bunch of people at a certain time. Pattern locked, yeah. <laughs> at that point, it's just just fucking dodge, 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 duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Oh God. Come the fuck on, man. Alright, well, I know this guy's pattern. Break their shield. Game's lagging. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> I should probably turn the graphics down. So, let's turn it to high. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Hopefully, that'll cut down on the lag. Still a bit, but it's fine. I'm assuming there's something else I could do that maybe like knocks the shield away and stuff, but I don't know how to do that, so. We got more symbols. I'm assuming I can't go here. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and 
you will find yours. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. It is really lagging on stream. Holy shit. That is really bad. Okay, hold on. That's a little better. Why is it lagging so much? Okay, maybe that sh that maybe that fixed something. I switched it to windowed full screen. It doesn't look like it's lagging on my stream anymore. That's good. much better now. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. 
Her bed is called Sick Bed, and her bed hangings are called Flames of a Funeral Pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Her bed is called Sick Bed. It's not very original, but. <laughs> that one and then I guess do I have to go back to the boat for the last one? Oh, no. I think it was on the boat when I saw it. Or no, it was on the stairs. It's fucking fruit fly, man. Okay, it's somewhere. seeing it. Oh, is this it? No. What the fuck? What the hell? What is it supposed to be? I'm so fucking... These... This fucking... These puzzles... Like are so confusing. What the fuck is it supposed to be? Like, I feel like it's supposed to be, like, something... Like, it started showing up when I went up the stairs. God, fuck this fucking fly, dude. Fucking missing something here. I feel like it was this this red thing, right? But it wasn't. Oh my god, the fucking work group chat is going off. Again, what the fuck is it supposed to be? Like, I 
feel like that should work. But it's not. No, this one's annoying. What do you want? What is it supposed to be? <sighs> God. Like, I feel like it's supposed to be something here, but it's like it's not fucking doing anything. Above me? What? This? Oh, is that- I fucking knew it! God damn it. I knew it. I knew that was supposed to be fucking it. God damn it. When I was up the stairs, I was like, oh, that looks like it could be an X. And then it was like, no. And then I was like, god damn it. <sighs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> is also really crazy too. The gate is opening. Come on. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the weather effects are really it's cool. Coming. That song again. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's Hella. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. Oh God. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness! Fight yes, it! I mean, Get it's up. a giant. I would be scared too. Get up! Get up and fight! Oh. And now her sword is broken. Cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to fight that. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. Dead. The fuck? 
fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> this game does get really fucking dark. Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Oh, you can so see the thing on her arm, the like stuff in her arm moving. So right. the honest answer, but we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. It's Peter Pan. There it is. You imagine that. It's Tim. He's gone. You would so slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. I told you. Where are you going? See, there's nothing to follow. Come on. Fucking sludge. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. Freud? His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. 
He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. I won't go up there yet, because I know I saw another thingy up here. Sigmund and his brothers seem certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, oh. Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Hey, don't, don't leave me on a cliffhanger. Worst cliffhanger ever. so pretty. Too bad we all know how it ends. <laughs> What's your name? Senwa. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I I watched you, and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trial. Would you come and watch? Bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senwa knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. 
They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! This shit is bananas. B A N A N A S. Is he not real? Is he mad? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. You won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign. A tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like a prince. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Well, I started fading, so I was like, oh wait, I want to hear the rest of this, the rest of the story. Oh, why am I yawning? I haven't done anything all day. <laughs> Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjatli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on mm -hmm. King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured. And Sigir has them buried alive. Is this another puzzle? Oh! I mean, never mind. <laughs> mm hmm, yeah. I mean, considering I don't even know what the. How this ends. Forged by the Grammar. god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said 
A great warrior can reforge grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Damn. What's the shard? Find it. <sighs> King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. She. It feels wrong. Where are we now? <laughs> Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. A sword either, so this sucks. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. Oh, 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 glitch. <laughs> Glitched. Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Is that the first voice or the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you hear him? Can't run. Alright. Over this way. What was that? This way. Follow this way. Nothing. Where are we? Don't touch the horse. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Yeah. <laughs> Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herva, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword. Tierving. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. Oh, it is. Keep going. Set or follow the voice. We're nearly there. Assuming I'm going the right way, Find but another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find a think. 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 There. <laughs> Torch glitches a lot. Something to look. I slip through your fingers and this again. Then you can think clearly. You have to find, find another way. Another there has way. to be another way. You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen, Dillian. 
Oh, do not like this. Dillion wants me to face my fears. Oh, I escaped. I got an achievement that says escaped. I don't think I've escaped anything, though. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. She said so. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Your kid, your kid doesn't do something that does, does something you don't like. Just beat it out of him, because that always works. I am leaving. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Okay, I did it. Sick. It's done. You did it, but there's more. It's gonna be over. There's more. Time I'm glad they don't require... Or is this just another way to get up here? Oh, I can't get down here. Nice. Well, 
more story. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. I guess Light you could say shone from him. he was fair. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Okay. If I do this whole game and she doesn't end up saving Dillian or whatever, Rich. you've come this far. Um, <laughs> is I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I mean, they made a second game, so I'm like... There's more of the same. What does it see? Get closer. Focus. Focus. Focus on the mass. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. It's another world. It's lighter. It's nicer. The bridge. It's fixed. I like the voices. It's honestly kind of cool. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. You kind of didn't try to word. Yeah, me too. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. Yeah. She can't. Because sometimes you're like listening to something and then you do something else and then it completely cuts off what it was saying and you're like, wait, no! <laughs> I was doing that. I'm doing that. Voices? Ah, uh, my thing oh, turned thank off. You. It's not safe. so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. 
You can't go up you there. You can't go up Not there. in this world. stroked your hair. Do you remember the way he said you were? There's a story thingy over here. Or not. Okay, it just ends. Never mind. <laughs> he cared in a way that nobody else did. I feel like it's supposed to be like that tree, but... Gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing oh. spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. Ah, but he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never oh, cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. The inside, so I need to get to the other side. Do you remember what the oh, is? Okay, that's closed now. But the other door is open, I believe, because I opened it. Get to that gate, I think. I don't know how. Your curse has claimed Dillian. Poor Dillian. He didn't know he was kind. Doors open, but that doesn't do anything for me. Oh my god, Jason, you're a genius. Where is it? Do you remember the way he touched you? Wait, do I have to go up here? Thank you, Jason. 
<laughs> You've got it. Do you remember meeting Why him beneath the tree? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's I'm going, I'm going. Dark world. Without you. Yeah, there's definitely no easy mode. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so I gotta do this. Get the door. It's like the little like the red runes are supposed to help but it, it's really not that helpful because they're everywhere so you're like this doesn't do anything for me Down there, it like it glowed. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Do I just have to go back to the dark world? Unless I'm just, what the fuck, dude? What do you mean? I did the door. I got the fucking thing. Why won't it open? Excuse you. I literally did this all already. Oh, here we go. I'm supposed to do this, I guess. Again, though, how do I get in? Hello, I am pressing interact. What the fuck? It, I was pressing F that whole fucking time. What the hell? Okay, so now I have to go do the thingy again, and then it'll be open. I was literally pressing F on that fucking door and it didn't do. It didn't open them. <laughs> okay, now it's open. 
Jeez Louise. I guess I'm just glad I don't have to fucking fight anything. You broke you couldn't see the darkness within you. to the gods as they throw things at Balda. The blind god, Hud, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Hud says, I cannot see where Balda stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. Damn, look at that lighting. And Hud throws the mistletoe at Balda. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf. Years had passed since she left her father. Oh, no. Oh, I fucked she it up. hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Yeah. I'm gonna just do this again. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies Cursed. she's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit sending the dead to hell but even so the gods cannot accept his death yeah they do like a super amazing job with the graphics Strangled him. I can't get over there. Was it worth it? You were in the highest Dark, dark. I want it to be on the other side.
the other way. Dillian saved you from them. Oh, I didn't do this one. Oops. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if he... Oh, son of a bitch. So I can't get... Oh, I can get over there from this way. No, I can't. Never mind. Got him. What the fuck? Oh, wait. I can go this way. Oh, hi. Hello, boyfriend. story. I was like, oh, it'll keep going, and then like, oh wait, it disappears, so no, it won't. is pointless. What are you doing? Um, let me do this one first and then I'll go back. Because I didn't finish listening to it because I went to the other... I keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. 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 What if they don't actually make sense? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense... Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone trees, metal, everything, except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Loki's a tricky one. That motherfucker. <laughs> The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons okay, and here. turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. I'm stuck. Hello, game. Hello. What the fuck? Why am I stuck? I'm literally stuck. Oh, 
always fucking something. <laughs> I know, literally. I mean, I was gonna be done after I finished this fucking area. This works, but like... Hello? You just go back in, and if I have to... Okay, it started me here. It's like, if it started me all the way back at the beginning where, like, I go into the, the world, then I would have stopped. Then I would have been there like, no. Where are you taking He's up there. He's up there. How did you get up there? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do it. You're nearly there. She might the way. I guess I'll just do this. No, it already did it. Okay, cool. So I think they save when I do those. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. We that of Zimbel no and her past. Speed is These and Dillian. A future. Two realities. Staring at her soul. Go here. Go to day. Get the other door. Come back. Turn it back to the other place. At least I don't have to do that st story again because I've done it already. That's nice, at least. That way, I hopefully won't get fucking stuck there. Now we go back. What does it feel like to be in love? He's answering the question that the, the voice What does it feel like to be in love? I'm so glad I don't work tomorrow. You, you it's been a few weeks since I've had two days off in a row. Because <laughs> I've been covering so many shifts. Downstairs. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in your world. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language, you don't understand. Zimbel was right. You wasted time. You're cursed. Don't be succeed. So quicker.
Dillian saved you from them. He was the only one who didn't mind the curse. He loved it so much. He cared in a way that nobody else did. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. There we go. That one was a little more finagly. Thank you, Jason. I was just like, I know that's it, but let's do it. The gods are just playing. What if the gods are laughing at her? Messing with her. It wouldn't be this. Dillian! First time. I don't have a sword, though. Druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. Wait, did I have to like keep her in balance? Every uh, every other time I've done that, I've like also the the thing on my arm is like lower than it was. I mean, I'm not complaining. All I did was press forward. Dillion! I didn't realize I had to. Quicker. What? Why is he standing like that? <laughs> no! 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 Yeah, I didn't realize I had to keep her in balance. <laughs> is that it for this area? No. Shinoa. Oh, hey. Your father cannot understand your darkness. I cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light to me. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. <laughs> or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. The dialogue is different from the subtitles. 
I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the soul? What if we're wrong? The soul All right. Wrong. I'm gonna call that the end. My head's starting to hurt. <laughs> But less ragey this time. I mean, it started off ragey, but it got better as it went on, so. Ugh. Thanks for being here, Jason. Jason Derulo. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll raid Kappa again. Be back tomorrow for do it again? Yeah. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll probably stream tomorrow night. I mean, you're closing, but so that means you might miss some of it, but I'll stream it. Why not? I mean, we're at a, we're at an interesting part where we're getting like backstory and stuff. Oh, you're off at 930. You'll be back just in time then. <laughs> oh, you close Friday. I see. Well, that's perfect. Perfect. Kappa again. Just because he has so many people in chat, it doesn't miss if uh, people don't talk. <laughs> but. Thanks for hanging out with me. Eat food, sleep now. Yeah. Um, I definitely needed help with some of those puzzles, so... Thank you for helping me, or else I would have been stuck for way longer. <laughs> I've been like, fuck, where is this stupid thing? Uh, but it's interesting seeing all of her, like, backstory and, like, how she came to be on this path that she's on. So. Very interesting. I just, honestly, like, I'm kind of just, like, just make, uh, like, the game is cool, but also just, like, take all the cutscenes and stuff and then put in some new scenes for like transitions in between cutscenes and then just make a movie <laughs> like i want to watch a movie of it and just like see everything even if it's like the same like weird like whatever because that's also cool because visually it's like you know kind of like what she sees through her own her th through her eyes because of like her psychosis and stuff so I don't know, but we will be back again tomorrow, and I will see you then. Bye.